we want to find the value of k for which the constant function x of t equals k is a solution of the differential equation four t to the third times dx dt plus three x minus eight equals zero. So if x of t is a solution to our differential equation, then it must satisfy the differential equation. So if we know x of t equals k, this means we can substitute k for x in our differential equation, but notice how we also have to perform a substitution for dx dt, which we can find because our function is a constant function. So if x of t equals k, then x prime of t, or dx dt, must be equal to zero, since the derivative of any constant function is zero. So now we can substitute zero for dx dt, and then solve for k. We would have four t to the third times dx dt, which we know is zero, plus three times x, where x equals k, minus eight equals zero. So notice this product is zero, and therefore we have three k minus eight equals zero. To solve for k, we would add eight to both sides, giving us three k equals eight, divide both sides by three, and so we have k equals eight thirds. So if x of t equals k is a solution, then x of t equals eight thirds would be the function we're looking for. And before we go, let's take a look at this solution graphically by graphing the differential equation, which will give us a direction field or slope field, and let's make sure this function fits nicely in the direction field. First, because our function is x of t equals eight thirds, what we normally think of as the x-axis here is really the t-axis, and what we think of as the y-axis is really the x-axis. And looking at this slope field, the direction field, each segment represents the slope of the tangent line at that given value of t. So notice how to the left of negative two and to the right of positive two, our horizontal line fits nicely into this slope field, meaning the slope of this horizontal line is zero and the slope of these small segments also look like they're zero. But it doesn't seem to quite fit very well between the values of negative two and positive two here. But notice how to the left of the x-axis, right above the horizontal line, the slopes of the segments are positive as we approach the x-axis, and below the horizontal line, the slopes are negative as we approach the x-axis. And therefore, therefore it would be reasonable to assume that the slope of the tangent lines at x of t equals eight thirds could be zero. And the same thing is true to the right of the x-axis. Notice how above the horizontal line, the slope of the tangent lines are negative, and below the horizontal line, they're positive, and therefore it's probably safe to assume that at x of t equals eight thirds, the slope of the tangent lines could be zero. So this slope field does verify that x of t equals eight thirds would be a solution to our differential equation, but it also shows us that this is the only constant function that would satisfy the differential equation all the other solutions would not be constant functions, and we can tell this by the way the slope field behaves. I hope you found this helpful.